excited to introduce you all to the natural wonders of this off-world habitat. We hope you enjoy your stay. The charm of Ark Park wasn't easily found in the first, second, or even third hour of my all-night dinosaur hunting marathon. Through a haze of awkward controls, blurry, unimmersive graphics, click turning, and teleportation, it was practically impossible to see what the developers were even intending here. In fact, there's so much to dislike about this game right off the bat that I'm curious to know how many VR gamers will stick with it long enough to discover Ark's mildly addictive yet ultimately shallow gameplay loop. Let's get the bad stuff out of the way. The controls with either DualShock 4 or Move controllers are pretty horrific. Awkward button configurations mean you'll too often be bringing up menus when you mean to turn, or turning when you mean to reload your weapon. And the only means of movement is the strangest form of teleportation I've ever encountered in a PSVR game. You hold down a move button, then use head tracking to look at your destination, and then draw a circle with the move controllers to decide which way you want to face when you land. Nothing about this makes any sense, making the absence of full locomotion and smooth turning even more disappointing. And as you click 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 your way through Arc Park, it all starts to look like a collection of static 2D images. Despite the gorgeous scenery filled with waterfalls, lush jungles, and a ton of detail, everything looks washed out, blurry, and flat, making for one of the least immersive PSVR titles yet. So the real question remains, what exactly is the point of all of this? Well, at its core, Arc Park is a wave shooter, but it's a wave shooter that's intentionally half impossible, forcing the player to go out and explore each of the five locations to collect resources by mining rocks, chopping trees, and scanning the wildlife to unlock then craft better weapons and tools. It's a gameplay loop in every sense of the term, revisiting the same small places over and over and over again until you've got enough materials to progress just a bit further. And then it's back to the grind of mining, chopping, and scanning until you can craft the next thing that you need. Occasionally you'll come across dinosaur eggs that can be hatched, raised, and ridden, which sounds amazing, but the novelty of it all wears off practically immediately. Online co-op might make all of this a bit more tolerable, but so far I've only managed to play solo. Arc Park is filled to the brim with good ideas, just executed poorly. It's unnecessarily complicated, difficult to control, and probably worst of all, it comes with a AAA price tag. There's a mildly addictive gameplay loop hidden in here somewhere, but I can't imagine too many people sticking with this one long enough to discover it. Even the most die-hard dinosaur fans should think twice before entering this park. Mission complete.